decision, there's a choice to be made. Amen? Amen. Choices, choices. And every day we have choices that, that press upon us from every direction. Matter of fact, when you wake up in the morning, you have to make a choice. I'm not going to just keep on laying right here. <laughs> or am I going to get up? You know, that's, that's a choice. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have choices, amen, to make. And so that's what I'm going to talk about uh, today. Amen. Your choices make a difference. Come on, say that with me. Your choices. I tell you, neighbor, your choices make a difference. That neighbor didn't like it. Tell the other neighbor. Tell your other neighbor. Say your choices make a difference. Hallelujah, somebody. Choices. Choices. Choices are the hinges, says Edwin Markham, hinges of destiny. Hallelujah, somebody. And John Maxwell says that life is a matter of choices, and every choice you make makes you. I'm going to let that marinate for a moment. Amen. So life is about choices. Some of them we reject and regret. Some of them we are proud of. Some of them haunt us forever. Uh-huh. But the message here is we are what we choose to be. Because our choices frame who we really are. We are where we are right now because of the choices that we've made. Can't blame it on nobody else. Because we made those choices. Are y'all still in the with me? And so we have to understand, hallelujah, and as much as we try to, amen, play the blame game, our choices uh, we are made up of the choices that we've made along the way. Yes, amen, somebody. Amen. And as I before said, amen, some of them we regret that we made them. Amen. Some of them we are proud that we made them. Amen. Hallelujah. And others will hunt us for the rest of our lives. Hallelujah, somebody. But, but we have to understand that, that we are made up of the choices that we've made. Amen, somebody. And so we have to understand that, that the choice is yours. Amen, somebody. In fact, the matter, choices gives us a chance to change or to stay the same. Y'all still in there with me? Choices, choices. Uh, become a part of your life, so you got to make sure that the influence that you know the influences that are persuading your choices. I, I didn't get the two amen from that. Amen. Yeah, because some of us are crowd pleasers. Some of us are peer pleasers. Some of us have certain folk that we cater to. That depends on our choices and our actions and our, our responses. It, it all depends on who it is that influences your choices. I'm preaching already. I'm preaching better than y'all saying amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Choices, choices. Look at your neighbor and say, choices. Yeah, yeah. So, so they affect you and they affect people that are near and dear to you. You ever thought about that? Hallelujah. Amen. That folk that are in your life, that are in your ministry, that are in your church, that are on your job, choices affect them. Are y'all still in there with me? Yeah, it got kind of quiet in here. Amen. Choices can determine your success or your failure. Choices can make you or break you. 
I'm going to keep talking until I get two or three more witnesses that, that's going to help me out. Amen, somebody. Choices, choices, choices in relationship, choices, amen, in uh, your family, choices in your marriages are inevitable. Amen. You have to make choices. Hallelujah, somebody. And my question is, who are you choosing today? Amen, somebody. Yeah. Are you at the crossroads of indecision or hesitation or vacillation? Hallelujah, somebody. Uncertainty because uh, you are fluctuating and because you are afraid to make a choice. Y'all still with me in here? Yeah, yeah, you, you got to understand that in the text, Pilate was the most uncomfortable person in Jerusalem at this time. Matter of fact, he tried to be a fence rider. Let me help somebody out here. Because millennials don't know what that is. Trying to be straddled the fence. Amen. But anybody here know that when it comes down to the kingdom of God, you cannot have a neutral position. Can I take my time just a few minutes a day and teach, preach, and then I'm, on, I'm, I'm going on the cavalry. Amen, somebody. But 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 he he was faced with a decision, a man that a man weighed on him, and he didn't want to have to make this decision, and so he tried to draw up a compromise with the people, a man that were around him. Jesus had been arrested; the trial had begun, a man and the pilot found himself under pressure. Anybody ever been under pressure to make a decision, to make a choice? Amen, somebody. Yeah, it, it's bad when you are at that point because Pilate was urged by Mrs. Pilate. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a game changer right there. Yeah, when your wife... I could preach right there. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but when she gets involved, amen, things come to a halt. And Pilate, amen, was already in indecision. But Mrs. Pilate helped him to make up his mind. Amen, somebody. Decision, decision. How many folk here have ever been there? Amen, somebody. You remember in Kings 18, 21, Elijah came to the people and said, how long will you be halted between two opinions? If the Lord be God, then follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the Bible said that the people answered him not a word. Have I got some witnesses in here? A amen, somebody. In other words, they didn't want to make a decision. Are y'all still in here? Yeah, yeah. So, so decisions are rocket fuel for action. When you make a decision, things got to begin to happen. A amen, somebody. And you can't make progress without making decisions. Y'all still in here with me? Yeah. How long are you going to be halted between two opinions? Hallelujah. And in Deuteronomy 30, uh, uh, watch what God, God said, I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Your choices make a difference. Hallelujah. You know, the thing that you choose today can affect your tomorrow. Amen, somebody. That's why you hear some of us who are, amen, up in the age who are more mature say, if I knew then, Sitting next to you 
that choices make a difference. Moses stood boldly in the gate of the camp in Exodus 32, verse 26, and said, Amen. Who's on? But I got some witnesses back over here. It sounded like a deacon. Amen. Who's on the Lord's side? Let him come to me. And the Bible said that all of the sons of Levi gathered themselves under him. You know what happened the rest of the story to all of those that were not on the Lord's side. Hallelujah, somebody. Yet because the problem was that they were building pagan gods, building a golden calf, and a choice had to be made between the real God and the false God. Amen, somebody. So Moses says, amen, if you're with God, then come on this side. <laughs> Ain't that a mess? But can, I, can I just talk to the leaders just for a second? Leaders, leaders, folk who are in leadership have an endless series of choices to make. And it's not easy. Some folk just think they want to be a leader, but when they get in the driver's seat, they can't handle it. Because some of us, their people skills are all messed up and all of that. And so you have to learn how to make a decision and own it. somebody. And so decision range from simple to tactical when it comes down to being leadership. And also from complex to strategic because you are the leader. And this is where uh, this is where Pilate was in, uh, uh, in a pinch at because a man folk were depending on him to make the decision. Are y'all still in there with me? It can jeopardize your ministry. It can jeopardize your team. It can jeopardize, amen, your firm. It can jeopardize your business. Hallelujah. If you will not make a decision. Are y'all still in there with me? Some of us won't make a decision, make a choice, because we're afraid if I make a mistake, you know, how is that going to make, well, you know what, uh, uh, you cannot make all of the best and right decisions and choices all the time. Amen. Have I got some help in the house? It's a learning tool. It's something that can help you out yeah, yeah. along the way. But you got to learn even from that. You ought to mature even from bad choices. I thank all three of y'all. Thank you for clapping, lady, down in. Yeah, didn't nobody else hear that? Amen, somebody. Yeah, so, so we got to understand that, 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 that none of us are perfect. But you got to be man and woman enough to make a decision and not be a fence rider. So a choice had to be made between the sinner and the Savior. Choice had to be made, hallelujah, somebody. And everybody knew that Barabbas, can I say it like this, was no good in the first place. But since we live in a time where folk like mess, mm -hmm. amen, somebody. Yeah, they, they went along with Barabbas. Yeah, yeah. Living a time where folk, yeah, yeah, they call evil good and good evil. They call love, hate, and hate, love. They call joy and sadness and sadness, joy. Amen, somebody. So when they brought him before the people along with Christ, yeah, he, he who was falsely accused, Pilate believed that he was innocent. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. And Pilate could not find no fault in him. 
ain't that a mess? Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes. Yet he was still in indecision. Yes. I'll take my time just a few more minutes. Yeah, he, he lacked, and this is bad right here, especially if you're a leader, lacked courage to make a decision. Huh? Right, wrong, or indifferent. You ought to try to make the best decision that you can. Don't just do nothing. I'm not talking to anybody in here. I, I, I hope I'm not sounding fussy. I'm just excited. Amen, somebody. But when you are under pressure, you ought not waver when you know what's right. Are y'all still in here with me? Come on, pray with me. Amen, somebody. Don't seek out compromise from the enemy. Amen. Because all he wants to do is to kill, steal, and destroy your destiny. All he wants to do is take out your ministry, take out your church, take out your blessings, take out your seed. And so you've got to make a decision that anyhow. But Pilate, Pilate, the crowd pleaser, oh, yeah. offers the crowd a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Which one do you want me? I'm just breaking all the way Do you want me uh -huh. to release? Yeah. Right. Now remember now, your, 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 your choice, choices make a difference. Pilate was just hoping that his compromise would work for him. Uh, yeah. And can I help somebody out? Compromise is good in certain situations. Right? Yeah. Compromise is good in marriage. It's all the ladies want to say amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have we got some help in here? Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's good in, in, in national diplomacy when you're trying to, amen, work some things out. Are y'all still in here with me? Yeah, it's good, uh, hallelujah, when it comes down to some cases, but when it comes down to your relationship with God, mm -mm, there is no compromise. Pilate was in a lurch. Pilate, amen, had a choice to make. Hallelujah, somebody. A choice between Jesus or Barabbas. Amen. But they didn't buy the compromise. Hallelujah, somebody. And see, since he already believed that Jesus was innocent, he should have had a fixed resolution already. Amen. Like Daniel and the Hebrew boys, yes. they had a fixed resolution. Yes. They were saying, we know that the God we serve yes. is able. Yes. I wish I had two or three witnesses in here. Yeah, yeah. We, we know our decision is going to make a difference. Yes. And even if he doesn't, Get excited too quick. I'm trying to teach preach just for a few more minutes. Amen. The prodigal son. The Bible says when he came to himself, he had a fixed resolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old folks said it, there was no if, ands, or buts about it. Hallelujah. When he came to himself. He said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going back to my father's house. Anybody else ever been at the crossroads where you had to make up your mind that this is it? And I'm going to my father's house. Have I got somebody in here? Yeah, you, you got to understand and uh, when decision time comes, yeah. you got to be 
willing to go ahead and make a choice. Some people, some people are like the like the chameleon. Y'all know that lizard that changes up. Everywhere he is. If you put him on red, he'll turn red. If you put him on yellow, he'll turn yellow. And yeah, but there are some things that he can't change into. In other words, the, the chameleon has the limitation. Are y'all still in there with me? Yeah, and, and so you, Paul, uh, I'm sorry, Paul, but not Paul, but you got to understand when you come down to limitations, uh, yeah, that, that you have to make a choice. Huh? Amen, somebody. And so that means that fence riders. Yeah, man. You can sit there all you want. Ain't nothing gonna happen. You either slither down on one side or slither down on the other. Are y'all still in here with me? I'm trying to help somebody in here. Been there, been there, been there, been there. I tried to stay in the neutral zone, the gray area. But you is either black or white when it come down to the kingdom of God. Yeah. So here he had a choice between darkness and light. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Order or disorder. Yeah. Security or insecurity. Yeah. Lack or plenty. Yeah. Defeat or success. Yeah. Right or wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Out of pity or praise. Yeah. But a choice yeah. has to be made. Yeah. Yeah. Ever got some help in the house? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you gotta understand that hey, amen, that, that 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 here this brother has some stuff going on. Yeah. He discovered that there was no gray areas. Yeah. Nudge your neighbor and tell him there was no gray areas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so you got a amen in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 uh, 14 through 22. Amen. All that you do ought to be to the glory of God. Some people haven't gotten that yet. Because we think we are doing it for the glory of the people. Yes. Have I got anybody in here? Yes. Hallelujah. And so if you fall out with the people, yes. then all the glory yes. and God. Oh, I got some help over right over in here. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. Because we forget about who we are doing it yes. for. Yes. And so your choices make a difference. Yes. Hallelujah. And they will determine, yeah, what you do. Yes. Yeah, your choices. Your choices determine whether you're tired or you don't tie. Yes. Your choices will determine whether you are support or don't support. Yes. Yeah, your, your choices will determine whether you will serve or not serve. Yes. Yeah, choices, choices. You ever thought about that? Yes. They make a difference. Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. And so we have to understand how this thing works yeah. yes, yes. in our lives. Yeah. Pilate was trying to find a scapegoat. Yeah. But it didn't work out. Yeah. Have I got somebody in here? Amen. See, one thing about, yeah, your choices, it reveals the quality of your integrity. Yeah. It reveals the sincerity of your heart. Yeah. It reveals the measure of your faith yeah. when it comes down to the kingdom of God. I'm, yeah. my, I'm in my seat in a few minutes. But it determined, look at somebody said, choices, choices, choices. Too many choices. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. But you got to understand Watch it. if you go down through the anvils of history. Adam and Eve right. made a bad choice one day. Yeah, because it was suggested by an outsider. Oh, Lord, help me. Hallelujah. It was 
was suggested by Satan that you don't have to do all of that right now. Hallelujah. He just don't want you to know. Have I got some help in here? Samson made bad choice. Yeah, Delilah was beautiful. Yeah, dark skinned gay. Have I got some help in here? Yeah, but it cost him more than he was willing to pay. It took him further than he wanted to go. Yeah, he lost his anointing. He lost his eyesight. He lost his, hallelujah, his self-respect. Look at somebody and tell him, be careful about the choices you're making your life. The rich young ruler, yeah, he made a bad choice. Hallelujah, somebody. He, he was at the crossroads of his life. But here comes the Lord saying, I need you to sell out all that you have and follow me. Is there anybody in here? that when you sell out for the Lord, the Lord of all, you got everything that you need. Oh, I feel my help coming in here now. Get an urgent name and tell them, be careful of trying to compromise because only what you do for Christ is going to last. Have I got a witness here? Understand that so many times we want to give up on Jesus and turn our backs on him and ride along with Barabbas. But I stopped by to tell you, you need to make the right choice. One songwriter said, I decided to make Jesus my choice. Just because you're making your choice doesn't mean that everything gonna be alright. But in the end, at the end of the day, everything will be alright. But you're still gonna have some good days. You're still gonna have some bad days. But I, he said, I decided to make Jesus choice. Is there anybody in here that decided to make Jesus your choice? The song says the going may get a little rough. And the going may get a little tough. But I made up my mind that I'm going all the way. Is there anybody in here that's made up your mind that you're going all